The next two Apollo missions we're going to discuss uh, are Apollo 9 and 10, uh, both of which demonstrated a capability absolutely essential to landing on the moon, which was rendezvous. Uh, in Apollo 11, when the astronauts took off from the moon to go back to Earth, they had to rendezvous and dock the lunar module with the command module uh, in order to successfully return to the Earth, because they had to go in the command module. That technology, that procedure, uh, rendezvous and docking, was actually first demonstrated years earlier on Project Gemini. And the Gemini spacecraft demonstrated rendezvous and docking by docking with a Lockheed Bell Gemini Agena target vehicle that was powered by this Agena engine right here. Uh, this is one of the most reliable engines of the early space age. The Agena was actually a workhorse of the early space age, and it was developed by the Bell Rocket Group in Niagara Falls, now part of uh, Moog ISP. Uh, the first successful rendezvous and docking in space was done by Gemini 8 uh, by an astronaut whom you may have heard of, Neil Armstrong, along with his co-pilot David Scott. Uh, the Bell Lockheed Agena target vehicle took off first, powered by the uh, Bell Agena engine, followed by the Gemini 8 spacecraft, and Neil Armstrong successfully demonstrated the first rendezvous and docking ever with that target vehicle. And of course, he successfully demonstrated that several years later on Apollo 11. That's one, two, Thank you.